Growing up here in Hawaii, Spam was the quintessential comfort food. I played a lot of sports when I was a kid, and often after a game, one of the parents would bring homemade Spam musubis. A Spam musubi is like sushi, but instead of fish, you have Spam. And that's where my love affair with Spam all started. Spam gets a bad rap, especially by people from the mainland. I went to college in Oregon, and I had two white roommates who both repulsed Spam, and they couldn't wrap their heads around why I loved that pink block of meat so much. Well, it was my life's mission to have them at least try it. So I fried up some Spam marinated with shoyu and sugar accompanied with over easy eggs and rice and when they both reluctantly took a bite they were fucking hooked. They seriously thought the only way to eat Spam was straight out of the can. I admit that's fucking disgusting. Let me give you a brief history lesson on Spam. A common misconception is that Spam is made up of a million unidentified ingredients, but the reality is that it's made up of only pork, salt, water, potato, starch, sugar, and sodium nitrite. Spam was invented in 1937 by Jay Hormel, the son of George Hormel, who founded the Hormel Company in 1891 in Austin, Minnesota. Spam was initially targeted at housewives, but it soon exploded onto the global scene during World War II when the US military purchased 100 million pounds of Spam to feed American and Allied troops overseas. You have to remember Hawaii was a war zone during World War II and Spam grew in popularity out of sheer necessity due to not only the US military's presence but also the government's racist restrictions on the island. There was such a large Japanese population in Hawaii, the US government couldn't logistically place them all in internment camps as was the case in different parts of the country. So instead, the government placed harsh sanctions on the commercial fishing industry which were mainly run by Japanese Americans and a large source of Hawaii's pro protein essentially vanished. Thus, Spam became an integral part of local people's diet. Today, out of the 1.42 million people who live here in Hawaii, we consume a whopping 7 million cans of Spam every year. Spam is ubiquitous throughout the island. You'll often see it at local restaurants, 7-Eleven stores, and even at McDonald's not kidding. In Hawaii grocery stores, you'll often see an aisle stacked with various Spam flavors like bacon, jalapeno, teriyaki, garlic, cheese, and tocino, which is my personal favorite flavor. Indeed, Spam isn't the most nutritious or healthiest thing to eat, but it's a symbol of Hawaii people's ingenuity and resilience. During those turbulent war times, we had to make do with what we had, and we figured out a myriad of ways to make Spam fucking delicious. To me, it doesn't matter if you love it or hate it. As a local kid born in raised in Hawaii, I'll always have a special fondness for Spam because it's a taste of home.